Deshaun Watson. Yo, sup, Swag, man. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Kill Lord, a.k.a. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we about to react to Deshaun Watson, man. This is incredible news for Deshaun Watson. Shout out to Microphone, and let's get into it. Watson situation. How much this plays into the decision that the NFL is going to make about whatever punishment it would be. Would this have any credence on them determining a time or a length that Deshaun Watson is out for the season? But Recently, Damn. we haven't necessarily been bringing you guys the best news in regards to Deshaun Watson. And it's... Oof. Hi, Boba. So unfortunately, recently, we haven't been bringing you guys the greatest news in regards to Deshaun Watson. And bear in mind, I'm a huge fan of Deshaun Watson's game. Bam, too. I've been following him since want to get a jersey. Season. I absolutely love watching him play. So personally, I want this whole situation to end as cordially as possible. So we can just go back to watching this man play great football. But unfortunately, I understand the situation at hand. And as a result, it did get a little ugly. Fortunately, today, we got some really remarkable news in regards to Deshaun Watson. Now, before we get to the content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. If you want to go the extra mile to support me, you can check me out on Patreon or my channel memberships program. And if you think I talk way too freaking much, we upload short versions of this content on my TikTok and onto my Instagram. Now that we get all that out of the way, break! I can't wait to see what's going on with Deshaun, bro. I think I think personally he gonna get suspended. Couple games, nothing too crazy. Mic check one two one two. two. What's going on, everybody? everybody. Look, guys, I listened. <laughs> Backdrop. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The last time we made a video nice. on Deshaun Watson, it was really scary. There was a rumor out there that suggested, and it was from a very reputable publication, might I add, the Washington Post, which we have to purchase a subscription to just so we can make the video for you guys. The Washington Post suggested that the NFL is potentially going to suspend Deshaun Watson for a year. Now, as I said, nothing official from the NFL in regards to this, but it's still a really scary thought considering the fact that the Cleveland Browns went all in on Deshaun Watson this year. Jadavian Clowney saying point blank that the reason he chose the Cleveland Browns over the Atlanta Falcons was because Deshaun Watson got traded to the Cleveland Browns. Wow. I told him I was all about where my boy Deshaun was going. And when you also do all of the sound wow. calf calculus, you'll realize that there's a reason why Deshaun Watson got paid the way he got paid. This year, Deshaun Watson only has a $10 million cap hit. That number balloons all the way up to 55 million in the 2023 season and it stays at 55 million for well nearly 55 million the actual number is 54 million 993 thousand and it stays that way until the conclusion of his contract so pretty much Damn. this means that this is the best team that the Cleveland Browns are going to be able to put around Deshaun Watson and it's actually really terrifying if you think about it because the Cleveland Browns don't have another means of acquiring cheap talent. They traded three first round picks in order to get Watson on their team to begin with. Damn. So Deshaun Watson potentially getting suspended for an entire year, especially his first year where his cap number is just 10 million, is an absolute terrifying scenario for the Cleveland Browns because the chances of them being able to retain the talent that they were able to put together for Deshaun Watson this year are very, very slim, slim to none. Damn, bro, I want to see him play. No official announcement of Deshaun Watson's suspension up until this point. But but it's still a scary scenario to think about if you're a Cleveland Browns fan. And at the same time, I can't necessarily blame the NFL for taking this route because if you're the NFL, if Deshaun Watson is going to continue to have this negative publicity and negative press surrounding him, the last thing you want is him to be hoisting the Lombardi Trophy, which is the epitome of representing the NFL. And I feel like that's what the NFL 
would have in mind wow. if Deshaun Watson was not to be suspended for an entire year. But at the same time, that's assuming that this negative press is going to continue in regards to Deshaun Watson heading into the league year. But we got some really good news in regards to this, and it's making me think that maybe Tony Busby and his side was using that as leverage in order to get the settlements that they want. Because according to ESPN, Ari Mayrov, The Athletic, and, and every major sports publication, Deshaun Watson has officially settled 20 of his 24 civil lawsuits. Now, it's important to That's know good. that the NFL says that these settlements won't That's affect real good. how much Deshaun Watson is going to be disciplined. But to be honest... I feel like that's what they were going to say no matter what. I personally think that so long as Deshaun Watson gets his name out of the headlines, then life yeah. is going to be good. So here's the official statement for the attorney of those that are suing Deshaun Watson. Tony Busby says that the cases against Deshaun Watson started with one phone call from one brave and strong woman. That woman was Ashley Solis. At the time of that call, she was just one of the hundreds of calls seeking legal assistance that our firm gets weekly. Even though Damn originally turned away by our screening process my staff insisted that i personally speak with her and i'm glad she persisted once we took a second look and after having contact with watson's original lawyer who disrespected ashley in her profession and who arrogantly minimized the conduct of someone he referred to as an asset i was convinced that our law firm should try to help her as a result of ashley's lone but brave voice soon many women who had allegedly experienced the same conduct were emboldened to step forward i have incredibly incredibly proud to represent them all. They have endured vile criticism and fanatical ignorance. They faced withering cross-examination by skilled litigators and stood firm. They are warriors all. Today, we have an important announcement about these cases, but it is important to point out that without Ashley Solis, the conduct experienced by these women would likely have continued unfettered. The truth hey. is, without her courage and willingness to come forward, the NFL hey, would really currently be contemplating discipline. There would be no examination of how teams might knowingly or unknowingly enable certain behavior. Sports teams wouldn't be reviewing their personnel screening processes, and this important story wouldn't have dominated the sports headlines for more than a year. Today, I announced that all cases against Deshaun Watson, with the exception of four, have been settled. We are working through the paper. Oh my gosh. To those settlements. Once so, this, done so this nigga got four. He got four. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Even if he did it or not, man, just pay them females off, bro, and get it on, man. I mean, we, we all don't know. You know, some people think he did it, some people don't. Um, four? That's crazy. And so those particular cases will be dismissed. The terms and amounts of the settlements are complex. Hey, you got the money, pay them off. Further on the settlements or those cases. As stated, and Ashley Solis is one of the heroes of the story. story. Her case is not settled, and thus her story and that of the other three brave women will continue. I look forward to trying these cases in due course, consistent with Damn. other docket obligations and the court schedule. Bro, why is this the top response to this Adam Schefter tweet? Jokes aside, this is obviously a step in the right direction if you're a Deshaun Watson fan, if you're a Cleveland Browns fan. But at the same time, those four other cases are enough to do damage to Deshaun Watson's Hell reputation. yeah! I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. It's not necessarily what I would like to see because I'm just a guy that likes to report on things pertaining to football. I don't necessarily like when things get to this point and these types of stories dominate the headlines. So it seems like although Deshaun Watson is going to be able to mitigate some of the damage that was done and it's going to sound a little bit better to hear there's four pending lawsuits, lawsuits against, against Deshaun Watson, Watson as opposed to, to 24, 24 pending, pending lawsuits. lawsuits. <laughs> This is this still is still going, going to be, to be a headline until the NFL, NFL decides to punish him. And I'm assuming the NFL, the NFL will punish him once all, all the cases, cases have been settled, settled because, because at the end of the day, day this entire situation was a negative look on Deshaun Watson. Yeah, it was. It was whether bad. he's guilty or not, whether you believe he did do what he's being accused of or you think he's being sabotaged by Tony Busby and the women that are accusing him, the fact that things have gone this far is without a doubt doing damage to Deshaun Watson's reputation. He's 
going to Ew. miss out on sponsorships in the future. He might not be in any commercials representing the NFL moving forward for at least the next couple of years. But I'm happy to know that this is getting closer and closer to finally blowing over as the NFL season draws near. In an ideal world, Deshaun Watson's able to settle all of these cases before the NFL season begins. But again, we're going to be waiting That's crazy. to what the official punishment is from the NFL. And that is going to be the ultimate thing that closes this entire case for NFL fans. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this. It's good. Oh, man. I hope he get everything resolved, bro. He can get back on that field, bro. We all miss him playing. I ain't going to lie, bro. The Browns going to be nasty, bro. If he play, the Browns going to be nasty. Now, they probably going to, you know, have Baker Mayfield play, to be honest, because they already know Deshaun Watson not going to play. So, Baker Mayfield, you're going to be back. I'll see you guys in the next video.